Welcome back to Dead Good Book Reviews and to another reading vlog here on the channel. It is reading vlog number 14. Get excited! I inch ever closer to the fabled 1000 subscriber mark and you are with me here on this journey. Welcome, hello. Uh, it is the end of the day on Monday the 29th of March so we have a wee bit of reading left of this month before we kick off our... I say we, I'm gonna do it. Kick off my April TBR which should be up by the time you're watching this. It's... It's just neatly stacked here. How fun. What have I been up to? It was a weekend of a lot of clearing out for reasons. Uh, so we cleared out the airing cupboard. Do you want a cheeky before and after? So cheeky. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> cleared out the porch. Didn't take a before and after of these things. Uh, I've cleared out my jewellery. We cleared out our clothes. It's been good. Lots and lots of bags that need to now be taken to be donated, which is the bit that I always forget about donating things is you have to actually take them to the place or they just sit in your living room so that will be fun but I did get some reading done also I finished Silver in the Wood I finished it is a one of my favorite novellas I really love it it's a beautiful little MLM folklore -y kind of woodsy story fantastic love it I'm 50 pages into the sequel which again I have read before so whether I'll finish that or whether I'll pick something else up I don't know uh, but I do love them very dearly and I would recommend them. Novella recommendations are coming, I will film it at some point. Uh, and I also finished Fool's Quest? Fool's Assassin? The second one? Uh, I finished that audiobook yesterday and I really, I was about to say I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed a lot of bits of it. Robin Hobb writes very bleak, very miserable fantasy and second books for her do not tend to have that much payoff because she's just putting her characters into a very miserable position so that she can maybe resolve things in the third book um so i shall see how that goes uh, but i am going to pick up the third one as soon as humanly possible because i do want to get to that i haven't really got a plan for what i want to read this week um or certainly not before the first but i think i'm going to start with thorn because that's already out so I'm behind on that as a review copy and yeah I think I'm gonna do tackling review copies first that feels sensible but I equally could pick up Girl Woman Other. I don't know oh I'm indecisive and the weeks where there isn't a new TVR starting I always find really difficult because I'm like what am I gonna do now but that's all by the by uh, hopefully you will join me for a fun week of spontaneous reading followed by some very strict and rigid reading of my TBR. I don't I don't know what it's gonna be. Along with some Animorphs filming, some... I've got to film my April wrap-up. No, my March wrap-up when that comes around. Not gonna film April yet. And so such. So it should be a good week and if I remember I will also take you along for some of my clearing out endeavours because this wardrobe right here... Da -da -da -da, da -da 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 is definitely not full of stuff I need to get rid of. Maybe I'll tackle that this week if I'm feeling especially motivated. But anyway, I've had a very long day. I'm gonna go eat my body weight in pasta and I will see you another time. Hi, it is Tuesday. It is a gloriously sunny day outside. We've just been for a walk to take some clothes to the clothing bank. Tick, done. Not all of it yet, but a good portion of it is gone. Uh, I don't have a huge amount to report. I haven't done much reading. Uh, I am, I think, 10% of the way through about seven chapters, six or seven chapters into Thorn. And I'm very much enjoying it so far. I like the way it's written. I'm liking the story. I did look up the fairy tale, so I am good. Um, but yeah, I can't really say that much about it at this point other than content warning for a really horrible brother. Uh, and I think some more stuff is gonna come out about that later, so. And then I got some book mail. Be quiet, camera lens. My final part of my Easter present from Justine arrived and it is uh, Karen Memory by Elizabeth Bear, which is confusing and I'm definitely going to think that this is written by somebody called Karen Memory. Uh, but this is like steampunk a steampunk Jack the Ripper yarn. I'm hyped, I'm excited. I can't remember why it was on my wish list. I think somebody must have told me I should read it at some point and therefore I have put it on my wish list and now I do want to read it. So if that was you, thank you. I will get to it at some point. <laughs> Other than that, not much else to report. I'm just working very hard and that's good. That's okay. So we shall see. I'm taking it easy. I'm all good. Hello there, it's me. I just finished my uh, April wrap up which is why there's all loads of books piled behind me in a haphazard way uh, it's that end of the month thing of pulling out all the books for next month and the books from the previous month Whew, everything needs to go away now uh, it is yeah it's thursday lunchtime uh, so the last working day of the week because we've got a long weekend here in the uk and i'm very excited to be off and to hopefully hopefully knock those animals videos on the head what 
reading have I done? I'd finished Thorn. I think I told you I finished Thorn. I enjoyed it. It was pretty good. Uh, really good, in fact. But you'll find out on Thursday, my full thoughts on it. Uh, and I also finished... Doo -doo -doo. Drowned Country, uh, which I loved. I was a reread, but I absolutely loved it. Again, fantastique. Not too much to say. I've not done any clearing out. I played video games all of yesterday because I was stressed. I'll probably do that again today because it's the last night of, you know, it's a weekendy night, if that makes sense. Feeling very good about new month things. Um, I think I would like to start the month with my, it's not gonna come out, I'll, I'll slide it out later in a horrible Jenga moment, but I would like to start Girl Woman Other soon, if not now. Um, and I will probably also try and start Assassin's Fate the third one, um, just because I don't want to leave that too late. Uh, and also I have a load of Audible credits that I'm not using because the Robin Hobb books are on script. I have bought the Notions, where is the, there it is, let me show you. Uh, so if you, if you don't sew, Notions are kind of like the extra bits and bobs that you need to make a thing, like the binding or uh, if it needs like a cord to go in it. And in this case, I'm making a, a like corseted vest thing much like this fantastic lady has. I'm gonna make it in black and without the straps. Uh, this is from a fancy dress pirate costume. It doesn't actually have a name, but it, it looks exciting. Uh, and I want to make a like velvet corseted vest thing. So I bought the bits and bobs to do that and they should arrive on Monday. So that's gonna be my sewing project for April because I needed something a little bit smaller than the dresses I've been working on previously. But I think that will mean that I have made it through the first quarter of the year, if I manage that the first quarter of the year with a sewing project every month which is really good and aligning with my goals for the year so that's nice let me know if you also want to wear fancy dress pirate clothes in everyday wear because i do good morning everyone lighting is weird it's fine it is very early in the morning for a day when i don't have to go to work it's 8 30 on friday bank holiday friday good friday however you want to think about it um and i'm trying to do some accountability is why I'm talking to you now. Um, basically, the time has come, the wall was set to talk of other things. Of clearing out my office and getting rid of things. So yeah, I have basically three main places of clutter in my office that I need to go through for reasons. Um, so I have the wardrobe, which is behind you, which normally has my rainbow flag on it. I have, can I get you around to see it? Da, da, da. I have this unit here, which is one of those like square units. It's a mess. And then I have like this kind of corner of corner of shame here. I'm, I'm showing you all of this, not because um, I, I want your opinions on how messy my life is, but just as kind of like, that's what needs doing. I don't think I'm going to get through all of it today. In fact, I think that would be probably an indicator that I didn't do it very well. But I think what I want to do today is get the room cleared. My plan for today is to do some reading and some tidying up just to get the room clear so that I can pull everything out of all of the places and sort through it because that's quite an important thing to be able to do. This is this is my accountability. <laughs> Did I do anything? I'll have to tell you tomorrow <laughs> in the vlog. I might do some time lapse bits, I don't know. Um, I might see how they come out but I am in my comfies, I'm in my dungarees, I have I'm not going to be able to get my leg high enough to show you on camera, but I have a chicken socks on. I should probably tell you what I'm reading in case I don't vlog again today because I fall into a stupor and I don't want to do anything. Um, I am two like chunks slash chapters into Girl, Woman, Other, uh, which I started yesterday and I think it's really good. I'm really liking the writing so far. Um, it's very different, obviously, from a lot of the stuff I normally read, so I don't think I need to dwell on it too much because, you know, not necessarily what you signed up to hear about. Um, but so far I do think it's really, really good. Well, without further ado, I'm gonna start clearing up the sewing pattern mess on my floor. This is a rather blurry time lapse because my autofocus broke. But look, I kind of did some things. I cleared out some things. Look at me moving things around. It got much worse and then it got a little bit better. I think my autofocus is turned off. Hello, I hope that came out and said something. Um, I don't know. It's been about 40 minutes and I'm in the worst before it gets better stage because I've pulled my chair out and everything. I don't know if I'm going to film the rest of this, but I maybe film a when I'm done for the day kind of clip. Maybe. 
You'll see. Hi, it's slightly later and things are looking much nicer. It's it's getting there. Um, I'm gonna stop for today because I just dropped a hoover on my hand and it really hurts. And that's my reasoning. I might do some more reading later. I will update you on how far I get in life tomorrow. I think I got my autofocus to cooperate. Hi, happy Saturday. Oh, I should have gone and get my book. It's okay, it's fine. Um, I haven't really done much since yesterday. Um, I did, ooh, excuse me while I get myself comfortable. Um, I did a little bit of audiobook listening, though not to an audiobook I was meant to be listening to. So I picked up, um, I have read it before, but not for a very long time, The Black Ties of Heaven by Neon Yang. I just sort of needed something to put on and I didn't want to start a 35 hour audiobook yesterday evening so I've done a little bit of listening to that and I'm actually enjoying it much more in audiobook than I did physically because it forces me to pay attention to things. I haven't read any more of Girl Woman other but that is a job for over the weekend because thank you friend who messaged me <laughs> saying that you were good to read it because I was having a social time. I haven't made much progress on many things. I will show you um, I'm working on that uh, pirate vest project that I talked to you about and I've been uh, thread marking pieces which oh I don't know if you're gonna be able to see there you go so basically, if you don't sew, um, some things when you make them, you just transfer over the pattern markings and stuff uh, with a fabric pen. Um, but if you want those markings to be like really visible and visible from both sides, uh, it's good practice to thread mark things. It helps you sew better. Uh, and because I'm waiting for supplies to arrive, they won't arrive till Monday more likely Tuesday of next week. Um, I, I just really wanted to get going with that project. So I was like, oh, I have the time. I'll thread mark, which I don't normally do. Um, so that's that's been fun. That's been a good thing that's happened. And I think that's everything. A lot of Assassin's Creed. Uh, my big kind of clear up of the office, I think is going to be pushed into next week. So if you like organizing, sorting, cleaning content, mayhaps next week shall be the week for that. Uh, but also obviously, Animorphs. I need to film them. <laughs> I don't know what's like blocking me with it. I will get to them. I work quite well to intense deadlines, so that should be fine. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna I want to close off the vlog. I haven't done a lot of reading this week. It really feels like um, I I don't know. I think it's that weird kind of crossover end of the month problem of what do you what do you read and when. Let me know what you've been up to, what you've been reading as ever. Sunday morning comment time is one of my favourite times of the day uh, and the week indeed. If you haven't already please do subscribe. As I say there's exciting things coming and I will let you know as soon as I'm able to tell you them. And that's all from me and I will see you in the next one. It's got a piece of bloopers now. Um, <laughs> along with, oh, 